Senators in the Missouri Legislature are back at the drawing board after personal property tax relief for senior citizens appeared close to a done deal last July. But only a handful of counties across the state adopted the measure due to a variety of concerns. News Press Now's Cameron Montemayor spoke exclusively with county commissioners about the future of senior property tax relief. As members of the Missouri Legislature convene in Jefferson City for the latest session, many hurdles remain before property tax relief for senior citizens could potentially find its way on the ballot in Buchanan County. With rising costs for expenses like groceries and utilities, seniors on fixed incomes combined with an already tight budget can be particularly susceptible to increases in personal property tax rates. I don't mind as, an, as a senior citizen paying my taxes because I can, but there are some who cannot. And I think we need to think more about that and do whatever we can to lift those people up. Missouri counties received the initial green light to enact property tax relief for seniors after Governor Mike Parson signed Senate Bill 190 into law last July. But many counties, including Buchanan, put on the brakes after confusing language left governing bodies with more questions than answers. That's the one big one I think that we're all concerned about is by capping this, what, what effect is that going to have on those school districts? Now, those same concerns are shared by many city and county officials across the state of Missouri who worry about the financial damage that adopting the bill could cause to school districts and library services, as well as essential services like fire and ambulance districts that rely on key property tax revenue. Senator Tony Luchtemeyer is looking to address some of those concerns by sponsoring a new bill to amend language in Senate Bill 190. The amended legislation changes the definition of property tax credit eligibility from a resident who previously qualified for Social Security benefits to now any Missouri resident age 62 or older who doesn't owe back taxes or payments to the county. It's one of four different bills centered on senior property tax relief that have already been referred to committee in the Senate thus far this month. By making it across the board, everybody over 62, I think you open that Pandora's box in people using that. I would be in favor of it based on fixed income and low-income people. There are so many low-income people. Close to a dozen other counties have enacted senior property tax relief with varying conditions since passage of the bill last year, including St. Charles, Jackson, and St. Louis counties. We can, in the meantime, we can have discussions with these other counties to find out exactly how they did it, why they did it, the way that they did it, and, uh, and kind of see how that would impact our local mm -hmm. community. In Buchanan County, Commissioners are less concerned about the impact of lost tax revenue on the county as they are about the potential impact on the city, school district, and other entities that have higher property tax rates and rely more on the revenue. A Senate analysis of Bill 190 projected that the city could lose over $100,000 over the next few years, while the school district would lose nearly 636000 If an amended bill were to pass by the end of this session, even one that addresses all of the concerns, Finalizing everything in time for the August ballot would still be a tall order. You know, I think anytime you can give the seniors a break and uh, they're on this fixed income, uh, I mean, that's certainly something that I feel like I can support. But we just want to make sure we do it the right way. The county is keeping an open mind as it monitors the outcome of the bill and prepares for an upcoming meeting with the County Commissioners Association for further discussion. Cameron Montemere, News Press Now.